now with the area's certified, most accurate forecast six years in a row. Meteorologist Chad Raithlisberger. Well, we're looking at cloudy skies across much of northeastern Wisconsin right now, and at times there will be a, maybe a passing shower or a little drizzle here across northeastern Wisconsin over the next few hours. Right now, as we look outside on our Storm Team 5 Skyview camera, in Oshkosh, 44 degrees, plenty of clouds, but we are dry at the moment. Manitowoc looking at cloudy skies as well, 44 degrees, and uh, here in Green Bay, dry at the moment, 47 with plenty of clouds as well. Temperatures are in the Upper 30s and lower 40s to the north. The rest of us, mainly in the mid to upper 40s. We should be in the mid 50s for our average highs this time of year. So we are running a little below that on this Thursday. Silent radar showing all these clouds across northeastern Wisconsin. And as we zoom in just north of Green Bay right now, as we make our way uh, up Highway 41 and 141 towards Abrams around Lena, uh, just to the south now of Coleman, we're looking at a couple of light rain showers. O'Connell, you might be seeing a couple light rain showers at the moment as well, back towards O'Connell Falls and Gillette. This is kind of making its way southward, so areas around the Howard Swamico area could see a few of these light rain showers here fairly shortly. We had some heavier rain across the north woods yesterday, many areas picking up well over an inch of rain from some of those heavier showers and storms that moved through yesterday evening and overnight. So we have plenty of flood warnings on some of the major rivers across far northeast in Wisconsin. And once again, new flood warnings now for the Wolf River up to the south and west of Green Bay and the Fox River as well, looking at some high water levels from that heavier rain that fell yesterday. These Flood warnings will likely uh, continue over the next few days as that water makes its way through the system. The main bulk of the rain now well off to our east across Illinois, Indiana, and lower Michigan. Again, a couple spotty rain showers possible for our area here later on this afternoon and evening. And a couple more kind of pop-up showers across far northwestern Wisconsin and eastern Minnesota. A few of those could hang on and make their way into our area here later on this afternoon and evening. But as we look at future casts, once we kind of lose some of that daytime heating or what heating we have had today, uh, a lot of these uh, showers will start to dissipate as the main storm system continues to move off to the north and east. As we head towards the early morning hours on Friday, maybe a little fog to the north. Otherwise, look at this. We're looking at clearing skies then as we make our way through the late morning on Friday. Plenty of sunshine for your Friday afternoon with high temperatures back closer to average in the upper 50s. And then very nice weather expected Friday night and into the day on Saturday with more sunshine anticipated across our area. So dry for Friday and Saturday. Do still have a uh, very small chance for a couple light rain showers on Easter. I think the better rain chance would be Sunday night and into the day on Monday with yet another at least small rain chance at the moment arriving by the middle portions of next week. So your forecast for tonight calls for some patchy drizzle, maybe a light rain shower. Otherwise, cloudy skies now will give way to some clearing as we head just after the midnight hour with temperatures falling back into the mid and upper 30s. For your Friday, not looking all that bad. Maybe a few clouds early, then becoming mostly sunny. Still breezy. Temperatures potentially in the lower 60s across the north woods. Here's a seven-day planner. Lots of sunshine on Saturday, highs back into the 60s, mild, but that small rain chance on Easter Sunday, and then temperatures fairly seasonal Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday, with again that another rain chance on Monday and Wednesday. And for more of your forecast, you can find it on our Facebook page, that's WFRV Local 5. Lots of people appreciate uh, the, that holiday forecast you Warmer just gave. Team, yeah. We thank you. All right. right now